As you might imagine, a straightforward recursive implementation would involve an unfortunate amount of recomputation. So we'll look for a better solution. Notice that it's natural to organize our subproblems in a grid like this one. Knowing C33, the cost of aligning the full sequence, depends on knowing C32, C22, and C23. Knowing C23 depends on knowing C22, C12, and C13. And indeed, in general, to figure out any cost, we need to know the costs to the west, to the northwest, and to the north to fill out this grid. These dependencies form a directed acyclic graph, and we can linearize them in any number of ways. We might do it in scanline order like this, or in left to right fashion like this, or even maybe along the diagonals like this. We'll keep it simple and go in scanline order. First, we need to fill out the base cases, this first row and this first column. And then it's just a matter of passing over the grid and taking the minimum of the three possibilities outlined earlier. Once we've finished, we can retrace our steps by looking at the west, north, and northwest neighbors to figure out what step we took. And this then will allow us to reconstruct the alignment. 